guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode two of my Winter Worming Tactics. I'm gonna be throwing a Senko. I'm gonna be fishing it Texas style and wacky rig, just like this episode. But instead of fishing in a pond, I'm gonna be fishing off my kayak on Lake Bass Drop. We're gonna be able to touch on a lot of worming tactics for grass, for deeper water, for these winter slowish, sluggish fish. This could be a lot of fun. Hopefully we catch a lot. We're gonna take the drone out. We're gonna have some really good footage. Um, hopefully it's gonna be an epic, epic day. And hope you guys enjoy. See you at the lake. Jump boy. Come on, come on. Wacky worm comes through. Right in the bottom lip. First one of the day. He was up kind of shallow, five feet of water. So I talked to a guy at the boat launch and he said he saw some bed, some fish on beds already. Pretty little fish. a fish yes right on the other side of that weed bed as soon as it came through come on buddy oh this is a little nicer one okay 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 settle down come on don't get off don't get off all oh, right in the top of the mouth come on buddy don't get off gotcha it's a fat one Whew. barely hooked look it's not even in the barb you see that that's crazy Man, I barely got you, little chunk. He is a fatty. Man, that was awesome. That was perfect. That was textbook how you're supposed to catch him. Let's see if we can get a release on this guy. That'll work. Oh, that's cool. Hey, guys. So I just caught my second bass, Winter Worming Tactics, video number two on the wacky worm and we're fishing the edge of these weed beds in a little bit deeper water we've only been out here for like a half an hour and they seem to be biting pretty good so let's uh let's keep at it oh don't want to lose my battle that would be a long walk home what see put tension on the line there's no movement, so that's weeds. Just give it a little jerk, pop it out of those weeds. I'm on the other side of that weed bed. Now we're waiting for a fish to pick it up. Just on the other side of the weeds. And I think I have weeds. Oh, I have a fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was perfect, that was textbook. Bring it through the weeds, you feel them pick it up. Oh no, look, my rod just broke. Are you kidding me? That's not even a big fish. Yeah, man, it's not even a big fish. He broke my rod, look at this. It must have already been cracked. Darn it. So this is not what you want to see fishing. Look at this. I caught a fish, that's what you want to see, but you don't want to see your rod tip hanging right next to your bait right at the boat snapped right off horrible man oh, let's let this little dink go even though you broke my rod all right mr texas rig show me the money
Ooh, that's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nicer one. Oh, yeah, Texas rig. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Gotcha. That's how they're supposed to eat it, right in the top of the mouth. That is a nice little fish. First one on the Texas rig, weightless Texas rig on my bait caster. Finally, yes. All right, little guy. Actually, you're a decent one. All right, you go back home. Oh, he's got my thumb. It's kind of hard to feel the bites because of this wind. But I just put a little tension on the line. I felt him. I felt him. his head shake. That's when I knew it was a fish. He dropped the rod tip, reel in the slack, and set the hook. Oh. I just broke off my hook. So, since I haven't had time to go get heavier fluorocarbon, I am debating on whether or not to throw the wacky worm or the Texas style worm. I think I'm gonna do a wacky worm. Just go ahead and cut it off of this one. I honestly couldn't tell if that was a fish or not because as soon as I set the hook, the line snapped. Well, this is nice right here. Here's the outside edge. The outside edge goes right here. Next one. Yep. Come on, buddy, come on. Yes. Flip them. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. -y. You are number five for the day. You're my limit. If I was fishing a tournament, I would have enough. That is a nice bass right there. Healthy, nice little healthy bass. There's a fish. I felt him pick it up too. That was a good one. He's just a little guy. But that was cool, I felt him hit it. Come on up here, little guy. Gotcha. Whew. That's number five on this worm. So they're not up shallow yet. That one I caught a little bit deeper on the outside edge of this weed bed. I'm on the inside of the weed bed casting out to it. But that's the second one in a row that I caught. Straight braid. It's almost impossible to tell how many I would actually catch with, with the fluorocarbon leader, if it's actually scaring away fish, or if I would have caught more with the fluorocarbon. But at least I'm catching them and not breaking my line. With the wacky worm, you don't have to set the hook as hard because the hook is already exposed. But when you're, tech, when you're fishing Texas rig, you really have to set the hook to bring that, that hook point through the worm. Oop, there's another one. Oh yeah. Almost same spot too. Almost same size. I wonder if it's the same fish. This one's been caught before, I think. Unless I hooked him in the same spot. He's got a little hole right there. Just like the Dink Brothers. That's two casts right in a row. That's awesome. Cute little fish. Ready to do your back flip. Whew. It makes it hard fishing in open water like this when you can't see where the weed beds are.
The fish like the channels in between the weed beds. So if you can't see them, you just got to feel for them. I'm in the lots of weeds there. There's a fish. There he is. Yep. Got him. Oh, little guy. He's the littlest of the day. Come here, little guy. Look at them gills. Woo! You do not want to be eaten, do you? He is the littlest one of the day. That worm is almost as big as he is. Hey y'all, I figured I'd do my outro today on the water because it is just really pretty with the sunset in the background and the winter worming fishing video today was epic. I had such a blast shooting it. I hope you guys have fun watching it. I hope you learned something. If there's anything else you guys wanna know, um, just leave me a comment. Um, I try to comment to every single comment that I get. So my 2020 goal is to hit that 1000 subscriber mark this year on YouTube. So. If you guys could, if you like the video, please hit subscribe, help a brother out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.